I just choke him, choke him, choke him till he passes out. And then when he passed out, I just, okay, now, just give him like three, four in the face. I'm like, now he's perfect. Now he's got the marks we need. There's no fight, we're good. Okay, yeah, everyone saw that he got his fucking shit handed to him, done. They're like, is he gonna wake up? Are you sure? I'm like, shut the fuck up. I kick him in his head and he starts coming too. I'm like, he's fine, dude. It'll be good in 10 fucking minutes. But like, these levels of violence are nothing. Like, the first couple fucking days on the foreyard, the homies are whacking fools left and right. Left and right. Every fucking day. Someone fucks up on the 150 bucks sale. Someone fucks up on the 300 bucks sale. Pop, 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 pop. They're just getting them. And the cops come out, hit the motherfuckers with their clubs, spray the motherfucker, yard down, you sit there for four hours on your stomach in the heat, and that's it. You end up getting so fucking comfortable with violence, you just get sick of it like me. Like, now I can't even watch fucking MMA, can't even watch people fighting. I don't even like when people glorify fighting. I'm like, what is so fucking cool about that? I really think people who glorify violence have never seen it, really. They've never been part of it. Because if you've really been part of some of the sick-ass violence I've seen, you just don't even care for it.